so running sales, right? I get a lot of phone calls. I get a lot of calls, not only from new inquiries, but also current clientele. And they're asking me more and more about spark plug recycling. Uh -huh. Sure. So it's, you guys are recycling spark plugs. You're buying spark plugs. Is this real? What's, what's going on? Is so, this real? So I thought this would be a good topic to discuss today. Oh, well, we've talked about it once or twice before. We have, but you know, more time has gone by and mm -hmm. more people, you know, there's a lot of issues with inflation and the cost of everything going up. So people are really looking at, you know, what else can we recycle? What else has sure. monetary value? Oh, sure. Especially the bigger yards. Absolutely. Right. So I thought it'd be a great topic today just to, you know, put it out there. So the questions, you guys are buying spark plugs. You guys are processing spark Why? plugs. Why? Should be the question, right? Why are you guys doing this? Nobody else is doing it. Is this, is this real? Is this legit? And I tell them, absolutely. Oh, come and take a look at what we got and how it's running. That's right. And then they ask, you know, well, what types of spark plugs? Is it all spark plugs? And obviously that's a great question, but no, it's not all spark plugs. Your copper tip spark plugs, those are the ones with the big fat center electrodes. Those have zero PGM value. That's so right. Those we're not looking for. But what we are looking for are your platinum, your double platinum, and your iridium spark plugs. And your double iridium. Yeah, and some, some are double iridium. Mm -hmm. Not many. Not, not too many. Right. You know, and then they ask... So how do I tell them apart? How do we know what the platinum from iridium from your copper? Well, mm -hmm. we just discussed the copper tips, spark plugs. It's got fat center electrode. Those are the ones that you you want to keep out of the mix, right? Like I said, there's there's no value in those. That's right. You know, I have a couple here. You know, I know the camera's not going to be able to zoom in on this, but this manufacturer actually has iridium on the ceramic body of this spark plug. Check out yours there, Ed. I got to put my glasses on. <laughs> Look at how tiny that wire is. The center electrode is super tiny. Well, that's why I have it in here just to, you know, as a reference. It looks like it's just a, a wire, right? It's just a, almost looks like a single wire, the center electrode. That's how you tell the difference between, you know, the electrodes that we're talking about. The iridiums, it's, it's like is a wire. Is this a double iridium? Yeah, this one's a double because you got the wire on the side electrode and on the center electrode. So yep. the side and the center. Yep. Yeah, so this is a double iridium. Yeah. And for those who may not know about the spark plugs, everybody knows you, you need spark plugs in the ICE internal combustion sure, engine. Sure. Anything gas engine, you're going to use spark plugs. But what are we actually harvesting here? All of it. <laughs> <laughs> well, it's funny. When you look at uh, spark plugs, you've got the platinum, the iridium. Now they're substituting iridium for ruthenium. Ruthenium is a far cheaper PGM. And then in Europe, there's silver electrodes for motorcycle uh, applications, older uh, older uh, ICE engines right. as well. Right. But here in North America, it's primarily platinum iridium. There's some ruthenium substitution that's occurring today in the marketplace, but we're not going to be seeing those in the recycling market probably for in any great volume for maybe five years. About five years, yeah. yeah. So, uh, and just for point of reference, it's 2022. 2022, yeah. So today, I was going to. Today. <laughs> you and I know this, but we could let our, you know, viewers in on it. You know, what is today currently the volume of spark plugs in 2022 worldwide? Well, you know, I'm going to have to um, refer to our friends. Uh, our friend Matt Watson's report that he, uh, we recently asked him to compile for our company. Right. And uh, when you look at the, the spark plug precious metal demand here worldwide, in 2022, you're looking at around um, – oh, I'm on the wrong page. So let's go down one more page. Yeah, so in 2022, you're looking at about 630 million spark plugs worldwide that are being fitted into – Internal combustion engines in model year 22. Right. About 630 million worldwide. So if you divide that by four, that's probably really close to United States. So North America. So, yeah. Mm -hmm. Well, no, United States. Oh, well, there you go. Yeah. Yeah, definitely. Because I consider uh, Canada and Mexico to be part of rest of the world. Yeah. So you've got U.S., uh, European Union, EU. And you've got Asia, 
and then you've got rest of the world. So you get you have those four regions. I see. That's the Broken way I that's the way I look territory. at it. Yeah, that's the way I look at it. Now I want to ask a question. Based on the EV mandates, and we know they're just mandates, but based on EV mandates with this report, you know, what does that look like, say, in 13 years, you know, 2035? How many spark plugs in 2035? Yeah, volume. A billion. A billion. A billion. So wait It's a going from 630 million to a billion in the next 13 years. So it's increasing. It's volume. increasing. Oh, well, that's interesting. Little nugget you pulled out of there. Mm-hmm. Why is it increasing if we're going to have so many electric vehicles on the road? Or are we? That's the question. Are we? I don't we're, we're going to have more uh, hybrids. Right. Way more hybrids. And hybrids take spark plugs. And obviously. they're also substituting for diesel. Right. Right? Mm-hmm. So a greater market share for internal combustion engines, albeit smaller motors, smaller cubic inch displacement right. engines. Right. Right? Far more spark plugs, right? Far more because of more vehicles. Because typically, in a in a um, engine like that that we're talking about, it's what are they about f four cylinder engines? But some some manufacturers do have a six cylinder or an eight cylinder model. But typically, it's about a four, four cylinder. Yeah, right? pretty yeah. much. Okay, yeah, four cylinder engines. That's what we're talking about. Yeah, mm -hmm. yeah. So now go back to the question as. Why are you guys processing spark plugs? Why, well, are, you, because, why are you processing? Okay, so let, let, let's look at this. Why are we processing? I mean, we're recovering platinum. We're recovering iridium. Well, what is the what is the main focus of this? Well, it's the iridium. It really is because of the fact that iridium is not a primary, primarily mined element. Right. In other words, it's not a product <laughs> that comes from mine directly. There are no iridium mines. It's a byproduct from mining of other elements. What is it a byproduct of? Well, it's a byproduct of platinum palladium mining. It's a byproduct of um, nickel chromium mining, nickel chrome. So um, it's just, is it economically you know, viable to go mm -hmm. after the ultra small quantity of iridium contained in ore bodies? And some of the ore bodies that are... Um, Rich in iridium are the oldest operating mines in South Africa. They go down about a mile deep. Yeah, they're really so they're very costly to get down, but it has the richest source of iridium. Uh, if you work the other mines in the other regions of South Africa, they have far less iridium. And it, to produce the same amount of iridium out of those mines, you'd have to overproduce platinum and palladium. Which so would it tends to ruin the mix. It right? would it, well. It would mix mess up the supply demand balance mm -hmm. in the market for platinum and palladium if they ran those other mines to source that iridium. Right, that makes sense. And so they they are focusing on the the higher grade, deeper mines to obtain the iridium. And with the the coming hydrogen economy and the and the use for uh, the iridium and the uh, hydrogen electrolyzers. There's going to be serious demand here in the next few years, shortly. It's mm -hmm. coming. It's imminent. And where's that supply going to come from? Well, we really need to go after the iridium in these spark plugs worldwide. Right. right. So that just answered that question. That's why we are processing iridium spark plugs. It makes sense to process it, right? We've said this before, you know, it's above ground. We kind of look at it as above ground mining. How much iridium is uh, is in these spark plugs worldwide? How many did we say were uh, produced this year? It was uh, 600 million plus. 630 million take. spark plugs. You know how much iridium went into those 630 million spark plugs? How much? What's the breakdown? So nobody really knows this. That's no. why we commissioned this report. Right. This is really in, very important. Oh, to understand right. the need to recycle these things, right? That's right. There's 48,000 ounces worldwide globally this year consumed. Wow. So if this is available five years from now for recycling worldwide, mm -hmm. you're looking at 50,000, 60,000 ounces of iridium in the marketplace. Right. That could be harvested that are not today. Right, because they're... We're losing them to the scrap steel, so we're losing the iridium and the platinum. And how much is iridium today, roughly? 
gosh. It's almost 4,000 4, an ounce. Yeah. That's a that's significant. That's a lot of money lost. That's a lot of money. What happens to these spark plugs in the uh, recycling world today? Well, they're usually left on the engine, um, and then they end up uh, going into uh, a steel furnace or a aluminum furnace. So the spark plugs and its precious metal content are lost to the steel making process. Yeah, it's gone. It's gone. It's not recycled. Right. We're talking about fifty thousand ounces a year starting this year. Wow, that's a lot. Right. Yeah. So if we go from six point six hundred thirty million to a billion in twenty thirty five seven years, right? Well, that's about a uh, a double. Right. A little less. But yeah. still, I mean, it's going to be 80,000, 90,000 ounces of iridium lost unless we in this industry do something about it. So we decided to do something about it this That's year. That's right. It's all about the circular economy. That's right. We have it. It's above ground. <laughs> we might as well process it, right? That's right. And I believe that that patent for that intellectual property is issued uh, next month, December? Yeah, December year? of this year. <laughs> 